friends, Roy Huntington here. Welcome to another First Look. You know, of course we're going to look at something interesting today because we're going to look at the Korth Revolver. Okay, sorry, I couldn't help it. <laughs> you know, but uh, we're really fortunate today. I think uh, what we're going to do is shoot what is going to be the cover gun for the March-April issue of American Handgunner in 2021. And uh, what we've got here is what I would call the current generation of the very famous and justly famous Korth Revolver. Now, if you look up Teutonic technology in the dictionary, you're going to see a picture of something that looks about like this. Vili Korth sort of had this concept uh, in the middle 50s, and then as the decades went by, sort of honed the design of what he called the perfect revolver. Or maybe he would have said, the perfect revolver. I think it's important we clear the air right now, though. This is $3,699. And before your hair catches on fire, because I know it's inclined to, because mine is, keep this in mind. An average entry-level custom 1911 in today's market costs about $3,500 to $4,000. Now, I, if you're inclined not to do that, trust me, I understand. There's plenty of $1,000 guns that are really cool. But if you really want something that you can show off at the range, that you can have for just the sheer enjoyment of the workmanship and the technology and the smooth action and the accuracy, well, then just be prepared to spend whatever you would spend on a custom 1911. And I'll bet you're like me, I know a lot of people with a dozen custom 1911s. So now having gotten that behind us, let's talk a little bit more about the gun. The Korth is actually a custom revolver. And fortunately, a few years ago, the gentleman from Nighthawk Custom went over to the Korth booth at the SHOT Show. And what <laughs> happened after that was a, kind of a miracle of business. And that Nighthawk Custom has joined forces with Korth from Germany. And they're now basically the distributors and the dealer for Korth revolvers. But this goes farther because Nighthawk Custom also works with Korth and influences design and cosmetics and things like that. And so what you see here is sort of a result of this collaboration between the ace, you know, engineers, gunsmiths, artists, technicians at Korth uh, hand in hand with the same kind of guys at Nighthawk Custom. You know, it's hard to get into specifics about the Korth because, like I said, basically every gun is different. We have what's called the Mongoose. It's a 357 Magnum. It's kind of Smith & Wesson L-frame size, about 33 ounces. It's got fully adjustable sights, and they're very clever, I might add. Remember that Teutonic technology thing? Uh, it opens up with a sort of a conventional thumb release. Now, they make another version of a gun that's got a cylinder release that's back here. It's a little unusual for we American shooters, but actually, once you try it, you'll get used to it pretty fast. Uh, it's got what I really like. You are able to adjust the double action uh, trigger pull yourself using a, a very simple tool. It's not like most domestic manufacturer revolvers that require a trip to a gunsmith. You can tune this to match your own needs. <laughs> Something I think is really, really clever about these guns is that you can buy a matching fitted cylinder in nine millimeter. And while with most uh, domestically produced revolvers that requires kind of taking the gun apart, with a Korth, you just push this button on the side and the crane and cylinder assembly comes out. And then you put in uh, the nine millimeter one or back to the 357 one and you're back in action that fast. All right, enough of this talk. Let's shoot the darn thing. I've got a target set up at about 15 yards. Now I've already shot this gun quite a bit to when I wrote the cover feature and I'm already familiar with it. And I'm telling you right now, it absolutely shoots like a laser beam. So let's get geared up and do some shooting. All right, I've got six shots here. We're shooting 148 grain hollow base wad cutter just because I want you to just kind of see how the gun shoots and everything. Thing. We've got our target up at about 15 yards, and so let's see how this thing shoots. <laughs> like I told you, it's like a laser beam. You know what? Let's shoot a cylinder full of 357 Magnum so you can see how controllable it is. All right, we've loaded up with six 357 Magnums. Here goes. Well, that was a little surprising. I might have pulled one or two. 
Okay, well, I sure enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed seeing it. It's a, it's a really teeny tiny window of what this gun is capable of doing. Uh, please read the article in American Handgunner, March, April, 2021, to get a better picture of exactly how accurate these guns really are. Can you say less than one inch at 25 yards? Honest. All right, friends. Well, hey, thanks for tuning in and uh, give our friends at Nighthawk Custom a call if you'd like more information about this or go to their website. But until I see you the next time, remember the four firearm safety rules and take a friend shooting, would you? I'm Roy Huntington. See you next time on A First Look. <laughs>